So I'm not prepared for this at all. I actually just wrote this last period, but it turns out I'm pretty good at winging things, so we'll see how this goes. But we've all been here though, right? I mean, where we hold out to the last possible moment, even though we know the amount of stress and sleepless nights that may be coming, and somehow every time we keep doing it again and again and again. Like for example, I recently just went through my first AP exam. Every afternoon, I would set a plan to get all my homework done and still have time to study. Well then, I would take one itty bitty glance at my phone, and before I knew it, two hours have passed, and I'm on a BuzzFeed quiz finding out which Romeo and Juliet character I am based on my favorite foods. I got Juliet, by the way. I've always wondered, why? Why do I keep doing this? What causes this? Is there something wrong with me? The truth is, no, there's nothing wrong with you. According to the American Psychological Association, between 80 and 95% of college students procrastinate on their schoolwork. And according to the Huffington Post, 86% of high school students said they procrastinate on assignments. This is caused by a constant battle of the prefrontal cortex, the internal planner, and the limbic system, the unconscious zone that includes the pleasure center. When the limbic system is in control, which is most of the time, we put things off to the next day. Our brain is like a drug addict. It's addicted to dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that's key in motivation, productivity, and focus. It's basically addicted to things that are considered fun compared to homework, like watching YouTube videos and scrolling through Instagram. So when we do activities that we consider fun, we get a small shot of dopamine, leading us to keep doing this action or to fulfill our craving for it. Other reasons for why we procrastinate are lack of structure in the workplace, unpleasant or boring tasks, timing of the reward and punishment, avoidance caused by anxiety, and lack of self-confidence. The consequences of the addiction is panic, sleep deprivation, depression, and even the possible loss of jobs and opportunities. But we still do it because the panic helps me work. It doesn't. It just can make easy situations into much harder ones. But what if I told you there could be ways to prevent it? A way to prevent the effects of procrastination is to limit all distractions such as cell phones. You can do this by simply leaving it in the drawer of your desk or on the opposite side of the room and only having necessities on your workspace. You can ensure you have adequate energy by trying to get a good night's sleep. And plan rewards for yourself, like for example, if I get this essay done, I can watch 30 minutes of TV. All in all, no, there is nothing wrong with you. You are just like everyone else. It just matters how you handle it and how you try to overcome it and be productive.